Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, we shall learn about arithmetic mean and geometric mean in mathematics, which are related to GPS to your exam 2022. So before moving to the class, I would like to uh, thank all the subscribers, those who subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for your support. Those who are watching this video or this channel for the first time, please do subscribe and support us. You know, it means you value our time and the effort. Thank you so much. Come, let's move into the topic now. Arithmetic mean, it's very easy concept only. Okay. Um, usually, they used to give AP, GP and HP. AP, arithmetic progression, GP, geometric progression, HP, harmonic progression. But this time they have removed HP from the syllabus. So we'll concentrate only on this two, AP and GP. Already we have handled few classes. Please check the description box for those videos and you can learn from there. Okay. And um, they have given about a AM that is arithmetic mean and GM, geometric mean only. They have removed HM. So um, we'll concentrate only on these things. Come, let's move to the concept if a a b are in a p then a is called a m between a and b okay so the formula to calculate arithmetic mean is if th these are the three terms given so a plus b divided by 2 if this this a m center you know is taken as a uh, that is nothing but arithmetic mean so this is the formula to calculate the arithmetic mean okay find the arithmetic mean between 12 and 30 so we know the formula each time i am not going to write the formula so it's direct substitutions but in the exam if it is for descriptive type please write the formula and then substitute okay if it is only for multiple choice questions you don't need to write the formula and substitute you can directly substitute and do this calculation and you can find the answer so the, this is the value of a and this is the value of b substitute a plus b divided by 2 30 plus 12 gives us 42 divided by 2 and on solving we get the answer 21 next find the am between 1 by 2 and 1 by 8 on substituting for the formula we get this line and we have to take lcm of this tool and we cannot add them directly we have to take the LCM of denominator 2 and 8. Taking LCM, we get the answer as 8. So write the 8 here to the denominator by. You can use any method of solving this. Okay. So we are using this method I have written here. So to find the two table, 2 4s are 8. And so 4 you have to multiply with this numerator. 4 1s are 4. And 8 1s are 8. 1 1s are 1. Hence, we get 4 plus 1 divided by 8. And this denominator remains as it is. On solving this factor, uh, of this 1 by 2 and 1 by 8, we get so much. 4 plus 1 is 5. Divided by 8 as it is. Divided by 2, right as it is. Then, you take this to the numerator. It's understood that 2 is having 2 by 1. Okay. On going to the numerator, division changes as multiplication. 2 by 1 changes as 1 by 2. Okay, 5 1s are 5, 8 2s are 16. These simple calculations of mathematics, I am going little fast. I think you all are aware of that. That's the reason. Okay. Next, find x if the following are in AP. So, three terms are given 5, x minus 1, and 0. So, let's list out a value is here, mid value is a, that is nothing but am and b value is 0. Substitute for the formula a is equal to a plus b divided by 2. a value is x minus 1 and substitute for the remaining values also and solve it. 5 plus 0 is 5 only. This 2 you have to cross multiply with x minus 1. So 2 1s are 2. 2, two into x is 2x and 2 1s are 2 which is equal to 5. Keep 2x here only and shift this minus to other side becomes plus 2 hence we get the answer 5 plus 2 is 7 this 2 will go to the denominator 
and gives us the answer as 7 by 2. Now you are aware of this simple calculations. If it is for school students, we could have explained in an elaborated way. Since we are preparing for GPSTR exams, I hope you are aware of these simple calculations. Okay, But still if you want me to explain it slowly, please comment in the comment section. Okay. We we'll learn few more sums from AM arithmetic mean. The product of two number is one one nine and AM arithmetic mean is twelve. Find the numbers. Okay, let's write down what is given. Let the two number be A and B, and the product of the number is one one nine. So we can write the product as A into B. That is the product. And arithmetic mean is given. AM is equal to twelve, and we know the formula for arithmetic mean. A m is equal to a plus b by 2. Substitute for the formula and solve. You get value of a plus b as 24. This you are cross multiplying actually 12 twos are 24. Okay. Then therefore you get a plus b is equal to 24. a plus b value has 24. And what is the product a into b is 119. Here this you have to find the factors that is two numbers so that when you multiply you must get 119 the product when you add them you must get this 24 so we have to search for that number so here we get 17 into 7 is equal to 119 17 plus 7 gives us 24 therefore here you have to be little cautious you just practice hence we will get Therefore, on comparing that, A into B is 17 into 7, A plus B is 17 plus 7. Therefore, on comparing this two, we get A value as 17, B value as 7. Okay, here they ask us to calculate those two numbers. Hence, the numbers are 17 and 7. Um, I repeat here already, we have told, if it is for descriptive type, write the relevant lines. Okay, mainly substitution and the considerations, those things. If it is the question is for multiple choice, you no need to write all this for the in the exam, so that um, you will waste your time if you write all this and sit. You can just do the calculation and write the uh, space work, rough work you can do, and you can directly calculate and write if it is appropriate. Okay, next find x. If the following are in AP, they have only given that these terms are in AP. That is A plus B whole square, comma X, comma A minus B whole square. Let's consider this first term as A, second term as capital A, that is AM, and the third term is B. And substitute for the formula, A value as X we have substituted and the remaining as it is. Expand these two terms, A plus B whole square and A minus B whole square. We get A square plus B square plus 2AB. And for a minus b whole square, a square plus b square minus 2ab divided by 2 we have. And minus 2ab plus 2ab get cancels. Then a square plus a square. And adding this to you get 2a square. b square plus b square and adding this to 2b square divided by 2. And this 2 in the numerator are common. You take, out, take it out from the bracket. And you get 2 of a square plus b square. 2, 2 cancels. Therefore, you get the value of x as a square plus b square. Let's move into geometric mean gm. Okay. So, the formula is g is equal to square root of a b. If a, g and b are in gp, then this g is called as geometric mean between a and b if three terms are given this is the formula to calculate geometric mean very simple and easy let's move into the problem find x if square root of 2 x 1 by square root of 2 are in gp okay to find the x value let's list out what is given a value if you consider this is a this is g and this is b value and you know the formula to substitute substitute for the required formula and this has to be substituted within the square root square root of square root of 2 a value square root of 2 into 1 by square root of 2 square root of 2 square root of 2 get cancels remaining square root of 1 only the value of square root of 1 is 
one itself okay next find the gm between 1 by 2 and 1 by 8 now we know the formula gm is equal to square root of a into b substitute that inside the square root 1 by 2 into 1 by 8 you are multiplying and solving 2 8 or 16 we get and, uh, and you are like separating the square root square root of 1 by square root of 16 square root of 1 value is 1 only square root of 16 is 4 itself okay this is the answer next find the gm between minus 8 and minus 42 so a value is given here and minus 42 is the b value let us consider and substitute for the formula that is square root of minus 8 into minus 42 minus into minus is plus 42 into 8 is 336 we can further simplify if it, if you can take any square roots like you check it for uh, square root of uh, 2 value means 4 into the multiple if you can multiply this number with 4 whether you get um, you can split this number to get the square root of 2 or square root of 9 to get 3 or 4 so we can write this number as 16 into 21 so square root of 16 is 4 into square root of 21 we can simplify the number like this this all comes by practice only okay okay let's learn one more sum the arithmetic mean of two number is 17 and the geometric mean is 15 find the numbers so here we have to deal with am and also gm so let's write down what is given am is 17 gm is 15 and am formula am is equal to a plus b by 2 and substitute for am 17 is equal to a plus b by 2 cross multiply this 2 with 17 we get 34 therefore a plus b is equal to 34 take this as equation number 1 gm is equal to square root of ab substitute for gm we get 15 is equal to square root of a into b on squaring this equation number 2 both the sides we get 15 square is equal to square root of ab whole square 15 square is 225 this square root and square root get cancels hence we get only ab now the product of ab is 225 if we find the factors of this 225 the product multiplication should be 225 and addition must be of 34 we have to find out that number accordingly in case of factorization we learn this type of solution okay so this by practice only we will come to know 25 nines are we get as 225 25 plus 9 gives us 34 therefore on comparing these two values a value is 25 b value is 9 hence the two numbers are 25 and 9 okay even though about uh, hm harmonic mean it's not given in the syllabus let's have a glance of the formula h is equal to 2 a b divided by a plus b in general a is greater than g which is greater than h okay if a g and h are the a m g m and h m of the positive numbers a and b then a g h are in g p the relation between a a m g m and h m is g is equal to square root of a into h okay let's continue in the next class hope you all have understood if you have any doubts please comment in the comment section thank you for your feedbacks okay in the following classes you can also expect few biology and chemistry classes we'll try to take it up please do subscribe those who not yet subscribe to our channel so you know I, I hope so you value the time okay when somebody is spending time for us we have to give a feedback or we have to respond okay thank you so much thank you for your support